Hey folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. Thought I'd do another video for you on another part of this backup power system. Uh, it's powered with solar. The component I'm going to talk about today is the DC disconnect box from Midnight Solar that I've got here. Uh, <clears throat> it uh, It's where all the DC power, both from the solar panels, that's at a, a higher voltage, and the low, lower voltage 24 volt power flows into and out of so uh, let's see here so <clears throat> on the outside of the box got the little midnight solar emblem and we've got the let's see that the data was installed quarter four of 2017 looks like I think that's what that is I mean that's when it was mailed to me Anyway, and it's the MNDC 250 amp version, which means it has the 250 amp DC breaker, uh, 150 volt rate, I believe, which is this guy right here. That's the, if it'll focus on the 250 there, there we go. That's the breaker that shuts the power from these 24 volt cables here, these large cables to the inverter charger off. Uh, it shuts the power on the DC side off, that is. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so I, outside I got, got this uh, labeled solar battery backup DC disconnect box and 24 volts in here and also 150 volts DC in here. But it's all DC. So <clears throat> also on the outside on this uh, right hand side I've got the uh, charge controller breakers. So those breakers shut off power and control power to uh, the solar charge controllers, the Tri-State guys here. So what I've got here is I've got these two over here are the 24 volt nominal power to each charge controller. These two on the other, on the left side of this bank here are the, is the solar panel power coming in. So this, this is the 150 volt rated power coming in and this is the 24 volt nominal power in and out of those charge controllers. The one in the middle here is a little uh, 2 amp breaker that I have and it it shuts off the power that goes to the it's the voltage sense. That's what these charge controllers use to sense the voltage of the battery bank. So they, they just there's a couple of leads that go to each of the bus bar that goes to the negative bus bar and the positive bus bar and inside these boxes. So that's what that middle breaker is for. Alright, so uh, give me a second, I'm going to open this up and uh, I'll show you the inside. Alright, so I popped off the panel, which is uh, it's, it's just a aluminum panel you can uh, just lift off. It's got these little connections in there and it makes it act like a hinge normally, but then you can lift it off of, of the panel there. It makes it pretty handy. just lifts out and you can set it down wherever you want. So it's uh, it's pretty messy in here. Uh, you've seen other people show these off on YouTube. Um, I'm sure you've seen the same thing. But when you get a lot of stuff in here, it gets pretty packed. Uh, but it keeps everything tidy in terms of keeping everything out of harm's way when it's all buttoned up, which is what I wanted. Um, so here's the big 250 amp. 24 volt nominal or the 150, 250 amp 150 volt rated breaker but I've only got it set up to run the 24 volt nominal part of this system so <clears throat> power from positive power from the battery comes in here and then this is the positive battery cable that goes to the uh, inverter charger and here's the negative side of the inverter charger right here on the top side of the shunt let me get a little there we go that's better top side of the shunt there and then the bottom side of the shunt goes to the negative uh, battery connection and that goes down to the that so that negative connection goes down to this bus bar this positive goes down to the positive bus bar and then those go out to the batteries this shunt uh, this is uh, I, I had a regular 500 amp shunt in here before 
but uh, once I got the Victron battery meter, it came with its own shunt. And uh, so that's what I popped in here. It doesn't quite fit that well in here. The, the holes on it didn't quite line up with the holes in the back that Midnight made for that 500 amp shunt that they provide with this thing, but it works. I've got got it screwed in one place, holding, holding there, and these big thick, uh, these are four aught four slash zero uh, welding cable, battery uh, cables I've got here, so they're pretty hefty and pretty stiff, even though they're welding, welding cable. So they um, they hold it in there too. So here's the, the two, here's the two connections that go to the Victron battery meter. Um, one of them is for battery voltage sensing, another one is to sense, the, it sense one senses the positive of the battery side of the uh, of the battery bank the other one goes to a, a midpoint battery reading on this this one bank right here uh, these two batteries when they get down low they they get a little off I'm still trying to figure that out anyway then they got this RJ 11 cable right here you can see that right here from Victron that goes to the battery meter it uh, goes up let me focus there goes up here through this charge controller goes out this conduit and then uh, just kind of runs up in the rafters or the joists here and runs upstairs. Uh, this right here, these two 10 gauge wires right here go to the negative side of this uh, separate backup battery charger. Let's see here. Uh, we've got cables. Here's the battery sense cable coming in for the charge controllers that runs up the side here um, got these two sets of 10 gauge wires and these two white 10 gauge wires these are coming from the DC solar panel power and those go into these breakers on the outside right here and you can see some six gauge cables back in here going to those charge controller uh, breakers right here and yeah you can see the battery sense uh, voltage sense cable going to the charge controller right here what else uh, let's see here this cable is a temperature sensor from the charge controllers I don't use anymore um, Let's see, we got a grounding wire here going to, oh, coming from the solar panels. The ground wire comes from the solar panels here. Uh, actually, that's grounding the uh, midnight solar outside solar panel disconnect box. I've got a separate grounding wire from the solar panels that goes to a ground on the opposite side of this house. Um, the ground for this, the DC ground for this box, I've got tied into the inverter charger, I've got it tied into the charge controllers, but that is a six gauge cable right here, THHN cable, so it's not welding cable, but it's still multi-stranded, it's a lot stiffer, but it goes through here, comes up through this charge controller, goes through this conduit, goes through this conduit, comes out right there and goes to that side of the house, uh, so that that side of the house is a grounding this power system on the DC side. I got another grinding cable on the other side, far, other far side of the house, grinding the solar panels. Uh, and I, I looked up the NEC, the National Electric Code for solar panel grounding, and it was kind of wishy-washy, it seemed to me. Uh, it seemed like they would allow a single uh, one ground for all of your equipment, solar panels and power system. Uh, or they or they or you could do two grounds um, I don't think they, they didn't seem very definitive on um, which way you went so but um, since this power system is on one side of the house and the solar panels are on the other side of the house I decided to do two um, anyway that's just what I did let's see here yeah so the, you can see grounding wires going to all sorts of other other things in here uh, from from this this ground wire so, uh, yeah, and you can see uh, these cables right here coming from the these um, solar panel uh, power wires going to the charge controllers, more 10 gauge wires 
Um, and I think that's about it. That kind of rounds it out. So I got power coming from the inverter charger. Um, breakers there uh, for solar panels and the inverter charger and the charge controllers and all the wiring, the Victron battery meter and shunt. So anyway, I think I covered it all there. Hopefully uh, didn't miss anything, but if you have any questions on that and how that's put together or some suggestions on uh, if I did anything wrong there, let me know. Um, but that about rounds out the Midnight Solar DC Disconnect Box. And uh, appreciate you watching as I put this back on. Just have a little screw there holding it on. But uh, hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.